Hi all, welcome back to Imagination Design, or ITS for short. Um, today we are going to start what I like to call a build arc. Now this is when I get to open and acquire new items to combine with my older items to build a scene. Now, I'm going to make a challenge for you all who are watching. I'm not going to tell you what the scene is going to be. I'm going to challenge you to try to figure it out. Make a wild guess based on the items I open and put aside. Now, there's going to be a few episodes towards this build arc, so you've got a while and you're going to have a few pieces to make your guesses with, but in the long run, you'll probably figure out where I'm going with this. Again, this is not a contest in any way. This is just a bit of fun. Be more involved. Anyway, let's get to opening something. Today we're gonna to be opening two outfits, both of them for Ken. Both of them come from the Courier line. This is a racket sport outfit, tennis player, pickleball player, whichever one you like. This one is going to be a nurse's outfit, IMT, doctor, scrubs. They're just simply scrubs. So, and yes, for those of you who are curious, this is part of the build, the build arc. One of these outfits, if not both. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to use Bryce. Bryce is going to be my tennis, my racket player, sorry. And Tucker, he's going to be my scrubs wearer. Which is funny because in my mind, in my imagination, Tucker is in the medical field. Bryce, however, he's a baker. But that's a whole nother build way down the line. So, here we go. As usual, we have the little doodads, little plastic doodads. Open up, oh my gosh. And then there's the, the cardboard. It gets stuck inside the plastic, but once you get it out, yay, it's free. Little cardboard we're gonna have. The stethoscope. Stethoscope. Bear with me for a little bit while I get all these little nubs off the back. I find it easier to cut them off behind with the cardboard, less likely to cut the actual fabric. Less likely to make holes in the fabric. There's the pants. There's our top. Please note, I have cats. They like to find any little piece of anything on the ground and run with it. So I try to, especially these little plastic things, not good for kitties or, or small children or puppies. Tucker. <laughs> Little bit of modesty. Point the feet. Point the feet. There we go. Now I've noticed that when you're, for the Ken dolls, the clothes that they come out with, they pretty much fit the made to move body type. They'll add, they'll fit the fashionista body types, but the made to move sometimes are a little bit uh, thicker or buffer in some spots, like around the arms and the shoulders, right here where there's that, pardon me, Rice, Ooh. where there's this little joint right here, sometimes the pants are harder to fit there, especially on the Barbies they are, but with the Ken dolls, I'm finding that 
that's not so much of an issue. And Tucker is actually dressed for work. Not in sandals though. Pardon me, Bryce, I'm going to steal your shoes. Now that was pretty fast. And Tucker is ready to go. So let's see if we can get him to stand without... Yes, it worked. Stand without one of those plastic stands. So next is going to be our racket sports. That's somewhere on the table. And I find, hey, I actually like these plastic bags a lot. Once I'm done opening an outfit, accessories or something, I find I put them straight back in here so I don't lose any of the pieces. I haven't removed the hangers from any of them. Maybe I can do some crazy project where you can get a wooden dowel, a really long one, maybe back here. That would be kind of crazy. Anyway, and then just hang each little bag back here. That would be fun. Mental note, honey-do list. All right, so we don't have too much back here to clip. I need the smaller scissors. There they are. Is that even one? Yep, that's one. Whoops. Wow, is that easy? Wow. These shorts were caught in the carpet. That was kind of nice. All done. That was pretty fast. These feel like the same shorts he's already wearing. They have the same color. We'll just leave these shorts on. More modesty. Let's just go with the top. Maybe. You know what else I'd like to challenge some people to do? If you like to write and you find yourself sometimes with a writer's block or just trying to figure out something or anything to use to get yourself a story or come up with a plot, pause a video. If not my video, another video with dolls, with a scene, some kind of action going on, and just write it down. Write down what comes in your mind. Write down a plot. Jot it down. I don't know if Bryce is going to stand. I also don't know if Bryce is going to be able to hold, yep, there we go, there you go sort of holds it. This might be one of those times you get one of the rubber, those little rubber bands, put it around their hand, around, you come, sometimes the dolls come like this in their play sets, where it's attached to their hands with this little plastic. I'm so sorry Bryce, it looks like I'm torturing you in some weird, weird fashion, I apologize. Well, Bryce, that's it. He was warming up. That's right. He, he's, he's stretching. That's what we'll go with. We'll go with Bryce doing some stretches. There we go. Bryce. Thanks, Tucker. That was good. That was, I think that was a record for having him stand on his own. So Bryce will be doing some stretches, trying to figure out where his tennis shoes went. next to him. We all need that crazy friend that'll come back behind you. 
and help you stretch when you really don't want them to. Let's take that off for a minute. Sometimes you can do this. That will help them balance. It's not going to work. Anyway, I think you get the idea. <laughs> so, here is our first new addition to the upcoming build scene. I will let you guys start trying to figure out what might be coming in the next few episodes. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!